Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make the inside of a church bulletin using Scribus, which is a free program. So first you're going to open Scribus. This is going to come up when you first open it, but if you, if it doesn't for some reason, you just go to File, New, Document. And so the size of this document, I'm going to make it letter size and the orientation is going to be landscape. The way that I'm making the bulletin is so it's going to be one flat piece of paper and you're going to be able to fold it in half. So I'm just gonna change it from points to inches to make sure that it's 11 by eight, eight and a half, which is, that's usually the dimensions of a church bulletin. And then I'm just gonna press okay. All right, so I already have it set up here. As you can see, there's a line in the middle, and the, how I created that was I went to Page, Manage Guides, and went to Column slash Row. And as you can see, for Vertical, I have one. And if I press the arrow, you can see that line disappears in one. And you can press Apply to All Pages if you have multiple pages, but I'm just going to X out of it. And there we have where we would fold the paper so that once we put things on our bulletin we know not to get too close to that line. Alright so we're going to go up to our tools and we're going to go to insert text frame up there this little A and then we are going to put our cursor in the side of this blue line and just drag it out and we want to make sure we don't get too close to that line and then here is where we would put our header if you double click it has it able to type out like that. And so you could be able to type it out. Um, I'm just going to delete this in this text box because I already have my header that I'm going to use right here. So how I made this header was I typed out the words and then I opened, you go to Windows, Properties, and you go to Text, and this is where you edit all your text if you double click. As you can see, this is what the text is called. It's be on the mountains. And then we have the size of the font right here. And then I always like to make the font from fixed line landscaping to automatic landscaping. If you had another line of text underneath it, they're not going to be super close together. So I just do that for all of the boxes. It doesn't really matter for the header, but it's going to matter later. So I'm just going to drag my properties box over. And then I also made this box right here that has all the events and the Bible studies and all that kind of stuff right there. So I just made another text box and I just stacked my text like that. I just typed it out and as you can see in our properties window, I used the font Georgia. So for this layout, all these are the same font. I just bolded the titles and I underlined the titles and I made the title a little bit bigger than the body. All right, and then I also have another column right here. You could just make a full other column if you had so many events, which most churches do, but I just had one other event to give you the idea. And then I also have a box with the church website, which I'm going to just get it closer to that other one. So we have our first page. It's kind of easy. You just line up the text boxes with the other text boxes and kind of just eye it and make sure that everything's kind of the same size. Um, if you go to the right hand corner, there's this eye button that you can't see, but it's on the right corner at the bottom of the screen and if you click that it shows you how it's going to print out so you can see maybe we should just scoot the header a little bit over so it's more centered and you can kind of like fine tune everything that way. And then I also have a box that I made with a general note taking area and so I put that close to the blue line and if you just use your keys on your keyboard you can scoot it over and get it close to that line just so it's not so close to this other line right here. And then I have another header 
and all of this is just the same kind of font. It's really, it's important to try to stick with the same kind of fonts. If you get too font happy, then it's gonna look like a mess. So I'm just scooting everything close to that line so we kind of have somewhere to um, measure where everything is. And then I'm just gonna turn the eye ball off so I can see. So right here is where our crease would be. Everything's pretty well centered and lined up. I'm just gonna scoot this one over a little bit. Oh, just a little bit over there and scoot that one down. And then there you go, you have a church bulletin.